All right, 148 Harbor Point, got a fantastic unit. Got three levels here, one bedroom upstairs, got a full bath, main level, two bedrooms, two baths downstairs, got a bonus room, uh, another bedroom, full bath. We've got a, uh, two fireplaces, one on the main, one down in the basement. Uh, just a great home. They've got one room set up with bunk beds. Uh, they've got a couple of large beds up there, one upstairs, one downstairs. So if you're a uh, family looking for a master suite, you can go either way. You can put it upstairs or downstairs, which you'll see when we get in. The great thing about this unit is it literally is right on top of the water. When I leave this unit to walk out into my deep water boat slip, 22 steps is all it takes for me to get from the bottom step of this unit right to my boat. And you'll see that when we go inside. It is rustic. You've got uh, hardwood floors, a lot of the knotty pine look. So if you're looking for that late getaway retreat, it's an awesome thing. One thing I love a lot about this community, let's say you live in Greenville or Columbia or wherever and you just don't see the mountains. When you pull into this development and you get right on Hatteras Ridge and you get up to the peak of that, you will see the prettiest mountain view that you'll find around the lake. And so that will bring you into this community. It is gated. You have two numbered parking spots and you also have some spots extra in the uh, parking lot area for guests. There's also a couple of dumpsters up there for, um, you know, your uh, getting rid of your trash and that's easily done as well. So let's head on inside, check out this great layout, and then we'll get down to the boat dock and, and check out the water. All right, as I said, you're going to come in and you're welcome with this rustic look. You've got the stone fireplace, you've got a stone uh, and tile countertop here, which is great. I love the hanging pots and pans. Nice little feature. You've got these wonderful raised ceilings. Again, the wood beams, plenty of room here in these knotty uh, pine floors. So, you know, all the, obviously, the, uh, the appliances will stay with the unit. There's also a list of furniture uh, that would stay with this unit as well. You look outside, you've got a nice large deck that we'll get out to here in a second. They do have the TV set up above the fireplace. You got a wonderful view, a lot of glass off the back of the house. Now stepping back in here. Full bath to your left. As I said, we got two bedrooms on this level. Uh, tub shower combo. I like the tile countertop there. I love that little how the top goes over the, uh, the toilet. Stand up unit here. Pretty laundry. Two bedrooms. Bed size. Queen size bed there. And then in this room, bunk room, which is certainly nice. You can sleep four kids in here, maybe more if they're smaller. Again, these houses are built for having guests. And that's what we've got. Let's step out here. We've got, we'll get down to the basement here in a little bit. Let's step out again. You want to talk about how close your boat is, or your slip is, to this unit. Got a lot of area here, which is great for the grill. They even got a grill downstairs too, as you'll see. We've got a nice green egg. Look at it. And they've got a walkway that goes around the waterfront of the, of the entire community. So a nice walking area. You want to walk the dogs and just get some exercise. But this particular slip, if you look down below and you see the black Bennington with the Yamaha motor cover, that is slip number 148. So as I said, you literally 22 steps from that lower step to get over to your boat. So it's easy to talk to your friends or family out on your boat. Looking out this way, you'll see the mountains through the trees. You've got um, you know Warpath Landing, which is super convenient to have that close. And again, Lake Cove area here if you just want to do some swimming. So let's head back in. We're going to head upstairs, check out the loft area, and then we'll get down to the basement. Stairs. Again, full bath up here. Step in. We've got a tub shower combo behind the door. Again, the tile top. We've got the oil rub bronze fixtures. Nice space here. King size bed. One thing I love about these lofts, they have these, you know, built-in areas here. Drawers pull out. Makes it easy. You can add in a little areas, you know, if you want to put in a uh, for hanging clothes. You can put a bar in between the beams here for your hanging clothes. And then again, more storage on each side. And they've got a nice TV set up there. 
Again, this helps give you a little more privacy on that level. All right, let's head down to the basement. But again, check out the view from up here as well. All right, down here, as we said, we've got another fireplace. Love the stone. TV above that. We've got the ceramic tile, large tile flooring. They've also got an extra refrigerator here that would stay with the house. Pool table would also stay. And uh, just makes a nice kind of a, a game room, living room area, but a getaway. And as you can see out the windows, you've got a nice swing hammock, another lower deck. They've got a great area over there with a bar and a green egg, which I love a green egg. Makes your meat, meat so moist. Just wonderful. And then if you come down here, We've got another room. If you didn't want to use the loft as a master, you can certainly use this because they have a king size bed here. Uh, one of the larger bedrooms in the home. Could be a combo, tub shower combo. There again, aura of bronze fixtures. And then we've got the heating and air units in here, hot water heater, and also some storage space as well. Central back? Yep, central back. That's right. Come on out here to the deck. Again, we've got a nice little bar set up. Sit out here, enjoy the view, and have a nice drink right there. Or maybe watch the chef cook on the green egg on the lower side. They've also, if you'll look over here, they've created an area where they can store lake toys, extra chairs, things of that nature. They use that area well as they've got a cover above it to keep it dry. Ceiling fans, again, water's not going to come through this particular area. And again, here we are at the water. I mean, come right out. As I said, it is so convenient. They've even got a, a third deck, lower level here, you know, with the tree built around that. That's pretty cool. Again, you can count the steps if you want to, but again, it's 22 steps to get to the boat. It's a fantastic, and again, very deep water. Never going to have a problem here with that. The other thing about this is once you go in between these two peninsulas, you're out on the main lake, and from that main lake, you're going to get that big time mountain view. And uh, so, again, love the location, love the unit. If you've got interest, give us a call. 800 the aerial video and this will help really show you that big time mountain view that you're going to see in this area.